Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to outline a new article in Rome. I show you my exact system for article writing in Rome, and by doing so, I'm able to much quicker create new original content that I can then publish on my blog. This is the system that I wish someone told me about five years ago when I started out. Unfortunately, Rome didn't exist back then, and since I've started using this system, I'm able to write much quicker, two, three times faster than ever before, while maintaining the quality of my writing. And this video is gonna be one of the 28 lessons in my brand new course, Zettelkasten in Rome. In this course, I show you my systematic note-taking process to capture the best ideas I find from everything I'm consuming, like books, articles, podcasts, and so much more. And because of that, I'm building my creativity inbox over time, and then I'm able to use my Zettelkasten to create new original content for articles, courses, or videos like this one. So the course is divided into four core modules. Part one is about capture, where I go over how to create notes to save the best ideas from the content you're already consuming. Then part two is all about how to organize your notes for better discoverability in the future. Part three is called refine, and we go over how to make your notes more valuable. And then finally, part four is create, where I show you how to use your Zettelkasten and to create new original pieces of content. And I've also included lessons in an intro section on how to use Rome more efficiently and the one hour masterclass as a bonus that will get you up from a complete beginner to an expert in Rome quickly. So that's basically two courses for the price of one. So yeah, you can get access to the entire course catalog, all 28 lessons, there's a link in the description. So go check it out if you want. If not, here's how to outline a new article using Rome. All right, let's now talk about on how to write an article and use the notes that you have in your Zettelkasten as part of your research process. So it all starts by having an idea of what do you want to write about. So that is the first thing that you got to talk about. And then once you have that structure, that main first outline of what do you want to write, you can then use your notes as part of the research process. So as an example, I have this topic idea for an article about what to share with your audience when you're just starting out. So I don't have a definitive title for that, but for now, I'm just going to call it that. What to share when you're starting out. So I create a new page. This is going to be my article. Now, when I'm writing an article in Rome, what I like to do first is just write a quick, quick outline here. So I'm gonna have the intro, the outro, uh, also known as the conclusion or the recap if you prefer. And this type of article, I'm actually gonna write a few bullet points. So it's probably gonna be a listicle or a step-by-step. -step. So the difference being that a listicle, all the topics relate to the same thing, but they don't have a natural order, so to speak. Whereas in a step-by-step, -step, step two needs to build upon step one and step three build upon step two and so on and so forth. So I'm not entirely sure, but with that being said, I'm just gonna start quickly writing what I want and then use the notes to enrich this article from my research. So let's do that right now. All right, so I've done a quick outline of what I wanna talk about. So I'm not really sure if I wanna use the story of Pat Flynn in the beginning as kind of like the hook for that article. But then I wanna talk about the benefits, people wanna know you. Then I wanna address like a common myth where I don't have anything to share. And then how to do this. So this would be like the struggle. This would be like the reason, the struggle. Then this would be like how to do it. I'm not sure I wanna talk about platforms. I put it here. And then the way that I would like to think about articles is that at the end of the article, I wanna point people to another article or at least to an interesting idea that goes beyond the realm of the original article so that it expands on it. So I might want to talk about stock and flow because this entire article is about flow sharing the process. And then I want to make that key point that over time you're building a body of work that you can then turn into stock. So for example, I can point to show your work book summary on my website or to a video or I can find a different way of phrasing this so it interlinks with another article or mine or something like that. So now what I would do would be to think of notes that would make sense here. So I picked a very similar thing over the script for this article, just because I think they're interconnected, but they're two different platforms. So I want to talk about the idea of obvious to you, missing to others. And I probably want to reference that on, I don't have anything to share. So I want to say, yes, you do, because here's why everybody's ideas is obvious to them. And probably here, I want to actually talk about prompts to do this. And so here I want to reference obvious to you, amazing to others. As to sharing the process and the story of Pat Flynn, I've come across this a very long time ago, but basically Pat Flynn started Smart Passive Income, which is now a major website. And basically when he started out, his entire website was built on the idea that it was him learning affiliate marketing and telling other people his struggles and sharing the process and that worked out very well for him, obviously, because he was connecting to the other people a lot more because they were feeling the same struggles. And then the people that were joining him in the beginning and they see him now, they've been fans forever because they went with him throughout the journey, that kind of vibe. And probably I think that would be a nice hook here in the story to open that with Pat Flynn. And then I want to talk about brands versus personalities and even probably want to talk about how brands sometimes use ambassadors in order to put 
a face on the brand. So I'm thinking like Think Media, they have a couple of people doing their YouTube videos. They use a few people on their videos, so they're always the same people over and over again. Even though they're a brand, they use people to showcase what they want because it makes them more relatable. Probably want to talk about being an amateur here or the advantages of being an amateur. Whereas you're more relatable in kind of a sense. So in here, I'll probably reference, um, show you work. And then when we're talking about the museum curator, I probably want to move this here. And here I would reference still like an artist, which I don't have the page yet uh, because I haven't moved that book summary. So I'll create that page, right? So I'm thinking this is already too much for a single article. So what I want to do, probably this would be sort of an article by itself, I guess, the advantages of being an amateur. So I'm going to move this. The previous part looks good. It interlines nice here. And so here I will do prompts. Now, as for the platforms, this is a very short section that I want to write about. I'm just going to write at the top alternative titles, just brainstorm a little bit. I like the idea of take your fans on your journey or the journey is more fun with friends. Probably both do that. And so as I continue to do this and think of the ideas that I want to do here, the process that I follow is again, very much chaotic where I'll just go, here are the ideas, the ideas, the ideas, more and more and more. And at some point I'll stop and say, okay, from this very own lens, what to share when you're starting out or share the journey. What does it make sense to include in this article? And what are the things that I should keep for another article? So right now I'm thinking that at some point I'll go to platforms and say, this does not matter when you're starting out. It's very tangible related to this, but it's not the main topic. So I'll probably move it out. Um, so it could be a sec to the next article actually. And so that's the way that I think about this. Now, this process will be very different for you if you like crave a little bit more structure. Um, this is the way that I like. And the great thing about this way of operating, I guess, is that when I'm writing, two things will happen. I'll have more ideas for the next articles that I should write. So even if I have 10 ideas, I might not write those 10 articles, but I might write five. And the second thing is that by doing this discovery with all the notes, what normally ends up happening like 80% of the time is that the article that I end up publishing is not my original idea. I just stumbled upon a better idea along the way. And that is a very nice thing when you have your notes because they're gonna lead you to paths that were not so obvious in the beginning. That being said, it is important, it's crucial outside that you have an idea when you're starting out of what you want your article to be. It does not change the conclusion or what do you want the viewer or the reader to get from your article, but it does change the way that you deliver that message, if that makes a little bit of sense. So you still want to impact in the same way. You just change the lens and the format and the way that you get to the point. So I started out by what to share when you're starting out, but I might go with take your fans on your journey. And so it's not about everything that you need to share is more about you need to share because that will take people to your journey, if that makes sense. So I don't want to talk about brands and personalities here. Probably this is something that I should remove. Journey over destination is this nice idea, but probably I would move this to consistency. And this is a very good idea for an article. So I'll do article, I think it's together, article idea. And then I have this page where I basically have ideas that I could do in the future. And so, for example, if I talk about stock and fl or flow and stock, share the journey, our brands use ambassadors, not really. But how to think like a museum curator could be an article idea. So let's do hash. Or actually a good title would be these are just some of my favorite things. Now, what will happen is at the end, I'll write the article here and then I'll move all these article ideas. So I'll take that and I'll create a sub bullet at the end here where it says article idea. I have to think like a museum curator and then I'll also move the journey over destination here. And then when you do that over time, when I write the idea, I'll delete it from here or I'll basically just move it outside. 
or I'll just link to the actual article. But when you do that, you'll see there's not a lot here, but when you do that over time, it starts to build up. And then you have this amazing backlog of so many ideas for articles, for scripts, for other things. So this is mainly my process. And then it's a matter of filling in the gaps of my own take. This is not a writing course per se, so I'll not show you that part, but just showing you how you can use a little bit of your notes. And you'll see that I didn't use a lot of notes here. I could have used a lot more just helping you in the research for that article. So that's the exact system that I use nowadays to outline a new article much quicker, much faster than ever before. And I'm still able to preserve the quality of my content because I'm using my Zettelkasten and to connect all these new ideas. And one of the places where I'm able to get some great ideas are books. So if you want to learn how to export your book highlights, all you have to do if you're so inclined is to click here to go watch that video. I show you my exact process on how I'm able to export my highlights from books I'm reading either on Kindle or physical books. So thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you on the next video. Bye bye.